So then we are starting tonight with breaking news out of Charlotte, where two students are dead and four others hurt after a shooting on the campus of UNC Charlotte. The gunman is in custody. Police say the shooter walked in just before five o'clock on the last day of classes and opened fire using a pistol. We're told officers engaged with the suspect and were able to disarm him and take him into custody after the first shots rang out. A student took this video with her cell phone while evacuating from the library there on campus near the building where the shooting happened and you can imagine panic among these students. It's the last day of classes officers running to that building to engage with that gunman. They had no idea what was happening. Police are still working at this hour to secure this campus. It remains on lockdown. North Carolina's Governor Roy Cooper tweeted, quote, this is a tragic day for Charlotte and this great university. We mourn the lives lost and we will all be here to support each other. I commend the first responders for their quick action and am grateful that the campus is now secure. He tweeted just around nine o'clock this evening that he is on the way to Charlotte and will be there within an hour. Now, UNC Charlotte is northeast of the city of Charlotte. Almost 30,000 students go there. And again, today was the last day of classes. And Fox Carolina's Brooklyn Cromer is live in Charlotte tonight. Brooklyn, we see police lights behind you. Tell me what you know right now. Well, it's still a very hectic scene up here tonight, and it has been since the shooting happened. Right now, we know that two people were killed in the shooting, four others were injured. Three of those remain in critical condition tonight. It was just before 7 when the University of North Carolina's Emergency Management Office put out a tweet saying shots were reported near Kennedy Hall on the Charlotte campus. Police say the suspect went in a classroom with a pistol and opened fire. The shooting all happened within one classroom here. Tonight, the campus is still on lockdown and could be for several more hours while they clear all buildings as a precaution. And one safety measure in place was to protect people in an active shooter situation. This campus went on lockdown right away. The police chief says they have the ability to press a button and lock down almost every building on campus in seconds. Now, the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department is taking over the investigation, and the FBI has also said they will assist in any way needed. In a press conference tonight, UNC Charlotte Police said this is devastating for the entire community. I can't tell you the sadness of the entire community to know that a situation like this has occurred on our campus. We're, we're all pretty much devastated to know anything like this. We have learned that the governor is expected here any moment to meet with those affected by the shooting. And at this point, we don't know much about the suspects. We don't suspect we don't know their name, but police say they are still checking the campus, although they don't believe there is any another active threat at this time. And of course, you'll want to keep following us at foxcarolina.com for the latest updates. And we'll have another live update here in the next half hour. Live in Charlotte, Brooklyn Cromer, Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news. Brooklyn, thanks so much. And again, we are expecting the governor to be on site in any moment now, and he is expected to address the media. So as soon as that happens, we will break into this newscast and bring that news conference to you live again. And we expect another media briefing from campus police as well. So stay with us here through 1130.